Hello and welcome to Coaching Mains Calx 101 episode 5. Calx 101 is a series that is meant to teach you the basics of Calx in theory crafting in order to have a better understanding of one of the most important aspects of it. By the end of this episode, you should have a better understanding of reactions. Reactions are also important in the damage formula, but not one of the things that is used all the time. Because you can either do reactions less damage or damage with reactions. Reactions are categorized in three big parts, amplifying, transformative and additive reactions, and we are going to cover all of them today. All the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Last time we talked about enemies and we can see here the enemy defense multiplier and enemy resistance multiplier. Next, we start with amplifying reactions which are also multiplied. Amplifying reactions, if we scroll down, we can find them and as stated here, they are the Vaporize and Melt. They are the only reactions that are multiplicative and increase damage directly compared to other reactions since it basically just multiplies everything you did before. If you do a normal Pyro attack, you will have the damage for the Pyro attack and if you Vaporize it, this multiplier for Amplifying Reaction will kick in and increase your damage. As you can see here, the first thing we encounter is the reaction multiplier, but what exactly is the reaction multiplier? As stated here, it's a multiplier depending on the element you are going to vaporize or melt with. For example, for the forward vaporize and forward melt, you are going to have a higher multiplier because they are stronger. Forward vaporize is when uh, you apply hydro on top of pyro, and forward melt is when you apply pyro on top of cryo. For the opposite, for the reverse vaporize and melt, we have a 1.5 multiplier, which is slightly lower. If you don't trigger any vaporize or melt, you are going to have one. Because of this, we will have different multipliers for the amplifying reaction, and you might deal more or less damage. Next, we have this little EM thing with the reaction bonus. This EM thing is basically what makes EM so valuable in reactions and that's why you are told to get EM on your Vaputa or on Yemiya or on Melt Ganyu or whatever team that is focused on amplifying reactions. And lastly we have the reaction bonus which basically comes from other external sources like we have here for uh, Hutao the Vape Multiplier from 4 piece Crimson Witch. Alright, with this in mind, let's uh, calculate our amplifying reaction. Coming here, let's first do uh, the reaction multiplier. And here we will like manually type 2, 1.5 or 1 and it will know how to calculate. So let's lift this a bit for now and focus uh, on actually calculating it. Uh, so here we will have the amp mold and let's do equal the cell uh, multiplied by um, 1 plus 2.78 times EM divided by 1400 plus EM plus the reaction bonus. So let's add that properly. We will open a bracket and do 1 plus first bracket 2.78 multiplied with the EM cell which we are going to also reference with A4, uh, F4 close a bracket divide by 1400 plus EM and now we are going to add the reaction bonus which is the 15% from here which we are also going to reference and let's, let's not forget about this one and that's basically it. Now it's zero because we don't have anything here, but if we do one, this will be the amp multiplier. If we do two, this is going to be higher, of course. If we do 1.5, it's going to be like this. But there is one mistake here. If we don't do any reactions, you are not supposed to use this at all. So we are going to trick it a bit. We are going to copy the formula here, 
delete it and use an if statement. You are going to type if, select the cell for the reaction multiplier, if it's equal to 1, the value if true will be 1, and basically the amplifier multiplier will not do anything as it's supposed, and if it's not 1, we are going to paste our formula we just copied, and hit enter. And now if we do one here, it will stay 100%. Why exactly we did this? Well, here in the formula, you will amplify, will, you will multiply with the amplifying reaction anyway, but the amplifying reaction should have a value different from 1 only if you trigger melt or vaporize. So if you don't trigger melt or vaporize, as you saw previously, here instead of 100%, we had something like 150%, which is not something you should have for a reaction you don't trigger. So with this condition of if, we basically forced it to give us the amplifying multiplier higher than 1 only if the reaction multiplier here is 1.5 or 2. Otherwise it will stay 1 and not affect the damage for something that shouldn't be accounted for. Alright, let's get this and copy it here. Now to give it for example, let's say the hit 1 damage will not be vaped, the charge attack will be vaped. And now you can see the difference is here. Okay. And lastly, let's say the burst damage will be melt. So this is a uh, forward melt. So the multiplier is 2. Charge attack is 1.5 because it's a reverse melt. And here we can see all three multipliers differently. Great. Now let's continue with the amplifying reaction. We go down. Uh, transformative reaction, sorry. We go down and we see this whole list here. Transformative reactions, as you saw at the top, are no longer multiplicative. They are additive, which is basically a separate instance of damage that is calculated. When doing calls, if you want to add reaction, you can add it to the same attack and it will show you the same number, but that's just something you can do in calc so you don't have as many cells. But in game, you will see that you have a separate number that shows that specific transformative reaction because it is calculated separately, slightly differently. Here we have the same reaction multiplier thing and here you have the table with all the multipliers depending on uh, the reaction you are going to trigger. Then we have the level multiplier. This is very important. This level multiplier is basically the reason why you are told to get your characters to level 90 if you are playing them in Hyper Bloom, Swirl Comps or something that uh, is based on transformative reactions. It's also the reason why Hyper Bloom for example is so strong. If you scroll a bit down, you can get your uh, level multiplier from here. It is not something you can calculate because it's hard coded in the game. So to get the number you want, you can come down here and you can see that it's 1400 which is like the highest you can get. If we make it 80 it's only 1000, almost 1100 and you can see the difference here between 10 levels it's about 300 difference which really does make the difference between everything. So we are going to use 90 for this example but let's continue we again have the EM modifier. It's on the same principle as above for amplifying but we have different values here and the reaction bonus of course works the same reaction bonuses you can get like from for pvv which gives increased bonus to soul damage or any other sources that you have in one here for hu Tao, we can do it as an example for overload for peace crimson which also gives a overload bonus and lastly the enemy resistance multiplier only the resistance multiplier because that's only the only thing that it accounts and it's calculated separately as I said earlier. So let's try to implement that. Okay, firstly I want to add my Orpice Crimson Witch uh, multiplier here. So I'm going to do overload percentage. We are going to see how much it is. Should be around 40%. Yes, 40%. Okay, we marked it down. And now let's calculate transformative damage a bit lower somewhere to have it separated and properly understand what's going on here. So let's see 
transformative. Here we say overloaded. And let's see, we are going to have reaction multiplier, level multiplier, and enemy resistance, and then calculate it. So, rea reaction molt, level molt, enemy res, and damage. Okay. For overloaded, my reaction multiplier will be 2. For other reactions, of course, you are going to use the one stated here. If you do burning, you are going to use 0.25 and so on. I will mark minus 2. The level multiplier, I will scroll a bit down and get it from here. Copy it for the level you want to calculate. For me, it's level 90. And get it here. And for enemy resistance, it's basically the same as we did here. We can copy this function and paste it here. Great. Okay. Now we can uh, start calculating. We are going to do the reaction multiplier times level multiplier times 1 plus. And we get to the brackets right here. We are going to do uh, in another bracket 16 times the elemental mastery of my character and reference it divided by another bracket where we have 2000 plus the elemental mastery again reference it plus the overload bonus right here which is another 40% and we are again going to reference it and this is our overloaded damage. But we forgot an important thing. The enemy resistance. Since it is not separated like the base damage which is going to be amplified later, the transformative reaction in its own separate instance will take the enemy resistance itself. And for that we are going to multiply it here with the enemy resistance cell. And this is how much overloaded damage our Hu Tao does here. Great. Now let's continue with additive reactions. These are more special because they are in the flat damage portion we are going to talk later but for now let's calculate its base damage. So again reaction multiplier which for spread is 1.25 and for aggravate is 1.15. Level multiplier and again this EM thing with reaction bonuses. Okay. Uh, let's start with that. Let's go a bit down. And do additive. Okay. And let's assume Utao will do a spread. Though that's impossible. But just for the sake of an example. Okay. And again. Reaction mold. Level mold. And we are going to take uh, for spread 1.25. The level mold again here at level 90. We copy it. And now let's calculate its base damage as it is. And we are going to do the reaction multiplier times level multiplier times brackets 1 plus. The EM thing in this case is 5 times EM divided by 1200 plus EM. So we are going to do another brackets 5 times go up. Elemental mastery for my character. Reference it. Divided by 1200 plus elemental mastery of my character. We don't have any reaction bonuses so we are going to ignore that. Close the parentheses and this is my base damage for spread. Very simple. We are going to discuss later how this is um, used in the actual formula as this is not everything for it. All right. So basically this is how reactions work. They are different some of them. So you have to be very careful how you account for them. If you have any questions or concerns Feel free to join the coaching mains discord at discord.gg coaching. For basic questions, you can visit the help channels 
And for advanced questions regarding theory crafting, you can visit our theory crafting sections where you can find other theory crafters or myself. If you want to ping or message me directly, you can find my Discord tag in the description down below. This sums up reactions. As mentioned before, the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Next episode, special multipliers, blood damage and procs.